And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today, Monday, the 6th of November. We trust you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Just to cover what's come across the news, of course, US equities closed the week on Friday with another strong session after the non farm payrolls jobs report came in lower than expectations. Also, that's supplemented by some strong earnings which continue with 81% of the S&P 500 reporting, 82 of those beating EPS and 62% beating revenue expectations. The expected growth jumped to 3.7. It was at 0.04% at the beginning of the week. But those earnings we saw last week have uh, improved market sentiment significantly. US futures are a little flat in early Asian trading today. Asian markets generally do very well. ASX is a bit of a laggard, but that's on the expectation that the RBA may take action tomorrow. It's about 50-50 at this stage as to whether they raise rates again or whether they pause for yet another month. The VIX has dropped to a six weeks low. The European futures are pointing to a positive open at this stage, but only slightly so. US dollar index closed the week at lows not seen since mid-September. Uh, but despite that, we saw commodities just pull back a little bit on Friday. We saw gold really sort of sit between that 1980 and 2000 key psychological level. Gold looks as though it is doing pretty well in Asia so far today. May well test 2000 again. Uh, we did actually put it in today on Friday. So certainly gold looks as though it could be a good thing to keep an eye on. Copper pulled back on Friday, but was still up for the week. Pausing in Asia this morning early on, but just again seems to see a little bit of buying coming into it as we progress through the session. Oil is testing the 200 EMA, which is good news from an inflationary point of view. Bitcoin continues to challenge the technically important 35,000 worth keeping an eye on over the course of the coming hours and days to see if we can push up towards 40. And of course, as well as continued earnings, we've got Middle East conflict continuing to remain in focus. Today, we've got global services PMI due, uh, particularly out of the Eurozone and the UK. We've already had the Japanese number out, which was slightly better than expectations. We've got that RBA decision tomorrow, which we've already referenced. And of course, just be aware if you are trading the US markets, the clock's changed over the weekend. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. If we look at the euro yen, you can see the euro is doing pretty well this morning. We had an initial pop up and then a pause for a couple of hours. Just around this 160.50 level on the 30 minute chart, just put this into context, take it back to the four hourly chart. This really sort of tests the level that we were at on the 30th of October. And you can see there that the buying does appear to be in after this fairly significant pullback we saw after it was last tested. So this looks interesting. Certainly a move up to 161 looks very much on the cards to retest that intraday high that we saw on the 31st of October. On the ASX, we're still seeing some buying coming into Qantas. Could be moving up towards this 576 level, which is where the 200 EMA is sitting at this stage. May pause around about 550, but irrespective of whether it does or not, 550 would still represent a fairly healthy return from a current price of around about 6%, if you take it up to 565% 5, at 550. So certainly some buying still coming into Qantas after really what was a miserable three months that we saw from August. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.